I would not move if I were you. Unless you wish to finish my job for me. Oh, right. You cannot speak with my hand over your mouth. I will release you, and then you will answer my questions in a calm and quiet manner. I do detest loud noises, yelling especially so. And well, you wouldn't want to upset me, would you? That's not how a host should treat their guests. Hmm. I was supposed to be asking the questions here, but I'll humor you. I'm the one the locals are calling the Angel of Death. Ugh. Such an overdramatic name. Not my favorite. A little too on the nose. Quite observant, are you? Yes, the serial killer. That is indeed me. Though I prefer to be called a murderologist. I'm very thorough in my studies, you know. But I suppose professional assassin sounds fine too. Yes, assassin. Meaning I don't go around killing innocents for the hell of it. Despite what Kitsune News wants to tell you. I kill for money, and I'm not cheap either. I charge a lot. I charge a double to make a look an accident. You see, killing is very easy to do. So it's interesting that people are willing to pay so much for such a simple service. But of course, clients always have their reasons as to why it's worth it. Sometimes they act as the judge and me as the executioner, hiring me out of their own sense of justice. Maybe to punish those whom the enforcers of the law turn their eyes away from. Justice is blind, corruption looks away, but revenge is unblinking. Other clients are more petty. They pay me to ease their fragile egos, to eliminate an ex-lover or business competitor. Trivial things for sure, to me at least. Do them with a hefty price to indulge that pettiness. There was always a reason. No death ideal is meaningless, and no life comes without a cost. Shush. Calm yourself. I'm getting to the point. What do you do? Is it to be decided? I have stalked you for about two weeks now. I know your daily schedule. I know the food you like, what hobbies you enjoy, and how long you lay in bed at night wishing that you weren't alone. I checked your background, your records, social media, everything. And you know what I found? I found nothing of worth. Nothing worth killing you for, at least. I meant what I said earlier. People pay a lot to not get their hands dirty, but there are limits. I was offered more money than I had ever seen. And trust me, I've seen a lot in the vault of the Unseen King. There is a reason why he's called the Wealthy One. Don't worry about that, but yes. I work freelance as well as for the kingpin of the underworld. But my point remains. You seemingly have done nothing to warn a hit on you, especially nothing to be worth the absurd amount that was offered. Don't look so offended. <laughs> it's simple curiosity. You are my most expensive mark. It's only natural that I want to know what makes you so special. So tell me, what are you hiding? Who would want to kill you? 
If I knew, I wouldn't be asking you. Well, it's worth a try. I didn't think you would, actually. But you miss the funerals of every shot you don't take. I could kill you. Wouldn't be all that hard, honestly. However, I find that the more difficult path is the one worth taking. No. I won't be slitting that pretty neck of yours tonight. Don't misunderstand. A killer with virtues or an assassin with morals is an oxymoron. I'm not letting you go because you don't deserve to die or anything like that. Death is greedy. It takes all eventually. Someone wants you dead. Someone that is rich and powerful, and for seemingly no reason to boot. Which leads me to believe that you are worth more alive. I wouldn't say that I'll be letting you go. More like I'll be keeping you on a leash, metaphorically speaking. I will not be harming you in any way. In fact, I'll be doing quite the opposite. You see, once it's clear that I have no intention of following through with the hit, I'm sure my mysterious client will send other assassins after you. Yes, they will. I don't know who it is, but with that kind of money, that I want you, no, need you there desperately, or just have that sort of money to throw around. Unless you personally bought a ticket to the death ball and won. <laughs> The only people I know who are that rich would be the three kings of the city. But even then, there would be a sizable portion of their wealth. The situation is worrying either way. Well, either one of the kingpins is moving in on neutral territory, which could drag the entire city into war, or somehow, Someone with as much money and power as the three of them has been working in the shadows unnoticed. No, it's not the Unseen King. Despite his nickname, I see him quite often, and his plans and movements are visible. He just hides in plain sight. Plus, he would have come to me directly if he wanted to kill you for some reason. Or just done it himself. Trust me, he's more than capable. Well, I'm being open and honest with you, simply because we will, like it or not, have to work together. If you don't wish to perish, that is. I thought not. Hmm? All right, I forgot I still had a knife to your throat. Apologies. There's no need to be afraid. I said I wouldn't kill you, and so I won't. Born under a lucky star, were you? Not everyone could dream of having an alliance, even if brief, with a notorious assassin. You do make a good point. If I don't have a problem with killing, my conscience won't feel burdened by a liar too, will it? I can't fault their reasoning. So a token of trust for you then. 
Since we will be partners for the foreseeable future, I suppose I could introduce myself. My name is Thane, and I will be your guardian angel from now on. Lucky you. <laughs>